New at 6 tonight, keep your dogs close. Coyotes are on the prowl in Westchester County. CBS 2 Steve Langford spoke with concerned residents in the Newcastle area. Walking the dog through these picture perfect neighborhoods, no longer so peaceful. We all walk around with our air horns now because they say that that'll scare off the coyote. Just this morning, a pack of coyotes spotted here on Winthrop Road, sending a wave of dread through the neighborhood. We saw three coyotes on the front lawn here. Big. Two more in the backyard, Andrew Naclario says. Oh, they were very big and very healthy. And yeah, there's plenty to eat around here. But there's stitches. On nearby Random Farms Drive, Jackie Meyer recalls seeing her precious cockapoo, Molly, in the clutches of a coyote. I saw the coyote crouch down, and the coyote had her. Meyer's scream sent the coyote running, but not for long. And when I went in the house, I looked out the side window, and there were, there were two. Molly, still recovering from the attack, no longer plays in the backyard by herself. No, no, I won't do that. There have been more than 40 coyote sightings or attacks reported in this Newcastle area this year so far. On Kipp Street, a coyote attack just last week. One family's beloved Schnoodle killed. A young man telling us they're mourning the loss of their pet. Even jogging through these blissful neighborhoods is now a concern. They're scary. They look like dogs without leashes, a little ragged, and then all of a sudden you say, "Oh my God, that's not a dog." It's distressing, um, and you know you you worry for your pets and your small children, I suppose. Paradise endangered. In Newcastle, Westchester County, Steve Langford, CBS 2 News. And police say don't assume a fence is enough protection, recommending that the fence be at least six feet high without chain links that coyotes can easily climb over.